It's late, but it's a fantastic interview I'm about to give. We're here live in Los Angeles at the Twitter conference, and guess who's going to speak to me about unstructured and structured data? <laughs> I'm Steve Broback. I'm president and founder of the Parnassus Group. We are the hosts of the Twitter conferences, and also uh, we help brand managers and people like hedge funds. That's not people. A hedge fund is not a person. However, we help people, hedge though. funds analyze social data and uh, understand how to react to it. So you're kind of turning that whole world up on, on <laughs> its head, right? No, I think, well, I think hopefully quite the opposite. We're, we're bringing stability and calm to this sea of moving, ah. unstructured information. So you're taking chaos and making it into order. That's, that's what we're doing. That's yes. fabulous. Because I know a lot of people, a lot of companies come to me for customer service, CRM. They have people saying they're talking about us in the cloud. What do we do with this? And that's really what you guys specialize in, right? It's true. What we do is we take social data, which is typically, um, we, we, we love working with Twitter data. So for example, uh, when the Star Trek movie launched, the recent Star Trek movie, yep. the morning after it was in theaters, we sucked down 10,000 tweets. 10,000? <laughs> that's a lot. Ran them through the processor and got a very accurate number for positive, neutral, and negative. First, well, actually, the first filter was, the first structural element was uh, we were able to detect whether the person had seen the movie or not. Oh, that's good. Okay. So that isolated 10,000 down to a subset of, I guess, was it about six? I don't know if the number's in hand. But then we ran sentiment analysis, which was, okay, positive, neutral, or negative. And what we determined, because we do it a lot with consumer electronics products, et cetera, um, what we discovered from this one movie analysis was quite remarkable is that the, the neutrals were incredibly low, positives were incredibly high, and negatives were low. Often with most products that are just shipping, you see a high degree of neutrals. So bottom line was we knew this was a real winner, and sure enough it was, and it was actually reflected in the stock data the next day. Well, that's a bottom line result. I mean, you're talking my, I'm the ROI gal, so yep. when you're talking about bottom line and stock value and shareholder yeah. value, yep. I mean, that's what I see for customer service, that's what I see for social media, for Twitter, for all these different modalities. But it seems like people aren't really talking about that. You know, it's like the comments I hear from CFOs, like is it just people talking to each other, saying they just walk their cat? Like you're really yeah. talking about bottom line results, something that's really quite different than what I've seen before. Well, it's true. You have a lot of people talking about their cat, but they may also talk about the toothpaste they use or the movies they like or the TV shows. And so thanks to, you know, Twitter has, via the API, has very ro robust search. So you can quickly extract out those tweets. Um, and then, it, then it's, it's relatively straightforward to extract them. But then the question is, what do you do with them? And well, that's see, that, where the analysis that, comes that's in. Where, that's why I wanted to interview you, because I have customers coming to me and saying, OK, now. We see that people are talking about us in the cloud. We see the comments. A lot of them are not positive. I always say, well, if you're in a company and you're in business right now, there's going to be negative things. Like Absolutely. that's just going to like get that's the baseline. And then they're like, okay, now what do we do? How you know, like, do I stay up all night reading the tweets? What do I do I with see. them? How do I aggregate them? They really, if you're a, if it's a high volume situation, they need to be aggregated and isolated and themed. Okay, what's they didn't like it? What's the theme? What was the reason? Then you, could, you can prepare a response and act upon it, and then you can quickly, if they are correctly um, tagged and categorized, then you can batch respond to these people in the appropriate way. So hmm. um, That sounds, see, I think one of the things that people are saying that Twitter really isn't a business app is because you can't operationalize it. It's like one brave soul in a company is responding to the tweets, like Morgan or Frank, you know, JetBlue or Comcast yeah. Cares. And I think what your app is doing is really operationalizing the analysis as well as the response. The API is so robust that I think it's a misnomer to say you can't, um, you can't do that kind of operation with it. I think Twitter may not provide the tool, right. but people that know how to use the APIs can provide the tool. And that's what they're striving for is it's an open system. We'll let the other people build tools on top of it. So are, do you see Twitter as kind of like a salesforce.com where they provided a platform and ISVs are developing on it? Hmm. Yeah, Probably hadn't I'd thought say, about it like obviously that. Obviously, Salesforce in and of itself is a very robust, the only, the only, it's a question of degree because obviously Salesforce is a robust platform in and of itself. Twitter is, is largely a large data set. Yep. 
dynamic, very dynamic data set. Instant dynamic, yeah. yep. So if a company said to me, Nat, I have all this data, what should I do with it? Let's say that we sat down with them. What would you show them? What would they see? Well, first thing I'd ask is, okay, you have this data. What format's it in? And what's your goal for it? What are you trying to understand? Um, then I would say, now, let's see if we can. It's, let's look at how well it's structured now. Right. And then let's look at what kind of structure you need. And then let's see if that gap can be bridged uh, in an automated fashion. Yes. Because that's really what you're after is that you just you send the data in and it comes back. And then if depending on what the structure is needed and what the structure we start with, uh, it could turn out that it's relatively very straightforward, as it was in the case of the Star Trek movie. So is your app available now? Like, could I buy it tomorrow? It's a service now. You can talk. You basically talk to us. And then we have to do sit down with you. It's very, unfortunately, it requires um, intimate knowledge of what their end result, what are they searching sure. for as an end result, what are they looking, what do they have as inputs, or do they need additional inputs that, we, that need to be built. So it's, um, then it is the reporting format, the visualization. Right. Is uh, obviously you want to get it in some sort of understandable uh, Digestible yeah. dashboard, because yeah. you don't want it in some BI spreadsheet that's, Right. You know, it takes a rocket scientist to read And we read tend it. to lean, um, to some degree, significantly to reports. A lot of the companies we want to talk to want reports. Got it. Now, hedge funds, they want data. Yes. A lot of brand managers uh, want reports. Yep. So They that's want the bottom line. Three just, bullets for the CEO. Hey, we ship this thing. What's the bottom line? What do we do now? Oh, gee, they, they don't think the battery life. Okay, it's clear. The one major negative is the battery life is so we what it should be. So we got to change the supplier. So, or respond. A respond you know, and say, I'm like, sorry. Hey, the reason, it's the lightest thing out there. Of course it doesn't have the battery life. You know, you have to deal right, with it. Right, right. And so are you seeing people take the data and transform their businesses? We often, yes, but you know how big companies are. Yes. You know, the wheels can move slowly. So it's hard to find the kind of nimble thing where the, the data is supplied and boom, they do it. Now in terms of response, in terms of response to um, detractors or whatever, yes. Product modifications, uh, not immediate. Got it. You know, we're not seeing the big fast. Okay, good. Let's iterate this and do it. You know, um, but that's just the nature of big companies. Yep, they're slow. Yeah. Big ship to turn. Well, thank you. I so appreciate after a long day and a fantastic first day yeah, here in it was Los a good Angeles event today. that you would take five minutes out of your day to talk to me. Oh, I'm man, honored. I, I love talking social data. So anytime. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll talk more again soon. Alrighty. Thanks. Great. All righty.